congrats to Colby White for winning last week's Rock Light giveaway. If you want the chance to win some Rock Lights or other Adrenaline Off-Road products in the future, all you gotta do is subscribe. What's going on, YouTube fam? We are back for another one here today. It is fucking freezing outside. <coughs> Fuck. But today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the four best mudding moments of all time that this truck has ever seen. We just so happen to have all of them on video. That's why we're making this right now. I made a video just over a month ago now with the top four worst times I had ever been stuck in snow. For this video, I'm doing the top four craziest mudding moments. So number one is going to be this clip is from my most viewed YouTube video of all time. We found this sick mudding trail, and as we were heading down it, there was a bunch of big mud pits full of water. <laughs> fucking big splashes, all that good shit. Let's see how many times that happens during this video. So we make it to the end of this little trail, and we notice that there's another mud trail off to the side that's pretty untouched and actually looks really gnarly. So we start heading down there, and we find this mud pit. Yeah, dude, this is looking pretty rough here. I would definitely not drink from that water source. Looks like it's full of cabbage. And it honestly just looks swampy as hell. And we're like, okay, this is gonna be a good spot. Brayden hits it first. Doesn't make it through, gets stuck. I pull him out and then he regroups, hits it again with a little bit more speed this time. Same exact result, gets stuck right in the middle of this mud pit. So he had no luck whatsoever making it through that shit. It was some pretty thick mud, some decent mud, and he was obviously getting hung up. So it was my turn with my ram. And I had no idea how this was gonna go, seeing as he got stuck twice, but I was determined to give him my best attempt. made it through that mud pit. I would say that that's one of the best moments for me. Pressure was kind of on to make it through because he had just gotten stuck twice. Number two, I didn't really cruise through like super, super easy. The truck actually had a challenge to kind of fight through a little bit. But making it out of that mud pit felt really good. And uh, yeah, honestly, as you can see from my reaction, ah! I was pretty damn fired up that I made it through that mud pit. That's number one. This is only time I've ever gotten stuck in mud with this truck right here. So once upon a time, I heard that there was a mud bog going on within like an hour's drive of here. And I had just gotten my four mud grapplers on this truck. So I'm like, okay, hey, perfect opportunity to go check this shit out. Show up at the mud bog. This trench looks pretty damn deep, but I'm still feeling good. I'm like, yeah, my mud grapplers will probably do pretty good today. So as we're sitting there waiting for a bit, people start showing up with their trucks that they're gonna be taking through the mud bog and every vehicle showing up is getting trailered in. And I'm literally the only dude who drove his truck there that was planning on taking it into the mud pit. Everybody else who drove there was just spectators. So I'm like kind of thinking to myself, huh, okay. I know a lot of people don't mud their dailies, but these trucks coming in on trailers are like jacked up on boggers, got all these fucking crazy power mods done to it and are very, very far from stock. So I'm starting to think that I'm pretty much out of my element here, big time on this one. Then it was time for the first person to make the pass. And this freaking machine, I don't know what was all done to it. It sounded like a literal monster truck. And it was at this exact moment that I knew I shouldn't have entered this mud bog because I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. This thing by no means is built to be a mud bog machine have to drive this shit on the road. But I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna go try anyways and just see how it goes. Came this far, can't just back out now. Plus I paid like $10 to get entered. So it was my turn to go. I floored it and this is what happened. <laughs> Looks like we got a bog out here. <laughs> but he's determined to get through the mud. I literally made it like 10 feet and fucking got stuck and hung up instantly. There is a no time for Mitchell Matthews here this afternoon. I was taking it hard since you broke me off with the car. The mud in that trench was some other shit, you guys. That was some thick ass mud. And I mean like thick ass mud. That shit was a different species. So my truck 
zero chance in there whatsoever. It was the only time I ever had a crowd watching me too. That was definitely a standout mudding moment for me. All right, this one is actually from the last mudding video I uploaded on my YouTube channel, the most recent one, which was uploaded last spring of 2021. Not too far from here, there was a mud pit with a really deep water spot. And I had originally gone to the spot with my side-by-side, -side, drove through it, barely made it through in four-wheel drive. <laughs> water was like coming up to the seat inside of the cab and it was honestly a pretty gnarly spot of course in my head i'm thinking to myself man what would it be like taking my truck through this spot it's a blessing but a curse to have thoughts like that the downside is you usually break shit but then on the upside you're going to make an awesome memories doing cool shit but anyways call that my buddy graham and of course he doesn't give a fuck about his truck he'll do anything with it he's down to go to this spot with our trucks so we get there he goes through it first with his truck for a brief period when he was trying to go through this thing, he actually got stuck. Oh, no. And then he ended up making it out on his own. I didn't have to give him a tow or anything. And then it was my turn to go through. Water literally made it up to the bottom of my headlight. And I'm pretty damn sure that that was the deepest mud slash water pit that I've ever taken my truck through, which is most definitely a little bit nerve wracking when you're going through that shit. And you look out the window and you're like, holy shit, fucking water's up to my door. Not to mention you're in a lifted truck. So if the water's up to the bottom of the door in a regular truck, it would be like more than halfway up the door, which is fucked. Taking my truck through that shit, snow went taking my truck through that shit. I was very surprised that it didn't actually seep into the cab at all through the doors. I guess the weather stripping or whatever's inside the door kind of like kept the water at bay and it didn't come through. It was really easy to actually get through this spot. The bottom wasn't very soft or anything like that. It was definitely just an awesome spot to go hit. I ended up breaking three things on my truck from that one mudding video. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is why I stopped mudding and bought a side-by-side. -side. I broke my front drive shaft. My truck started to overheat to the point where I couldn't drive it after that. And it wasn't because my rad was full. And something else broke too, can't remember, not important anymore. And I can tell you right now with the amount of snow that we've gotten this year, which is way more than we've gotten in like the last five plus years, that same spot is gonna be even deeper this spring, like significantly deeper. Thumbs up this video if you want us to go back to that spot this spring. I have to go. Third time that happened. All right, you guys, number one, best muddy moment of all time. Once upon a time, me, my girlfriend Aaliyah and my buddy Brett with his Ram hit up the same trail that I was talking about on the first video. So we were blasting through those mud pits. I remember there was a really good amount of water there. And when you have enough water and enough mud in the right combination, it's always a damn blast. <laughs> so we were just making our way out of this place hitting the mud pits on the way out. So here's my standout moment right here. So my girlfriend Aaliyah was set up with the camera slightly off to the side of this mud pit and I honestly didn't expect this to happen. But when I actually cranked this mud pit, <laughs> the splash was so huge. <laughs> oh my God. Oh she got absolutely covered. And the camera that we were recording on actually broke because of this shit. Two minutes later, it started to do all this weird shit. What the fuck is going on <laughs> in this video? <laughs> oh, it's kind of, you know, it's really foggy, man. The lens was all weird and just got fucked. <laughs> that shit will always stand out to me. It was honestly just funny as hell. And I'm glad I have the video to rewatch that shit. That's why making videos is so awesome. You can watch that shit over again and again, anytime you want relive that memory but anyways guys that wraps up my top four muddy moments of all time if you want to see some more off-roading content with this truck right here make sure you blast that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one Woo!